Yeah, you're going to have to hold on to Mary so I can get done with this forecast. Cannot wait to meet her. And uh, like Jasmine mentioned, it is going to be an absolutely perfect day to head out and walk the dog as we're going to see temperatures in those low to mid 80s for our highs today. will be a little bit breezy, so hold on to the leash, but we do have some cooler temperatures on the way. With the cold front pushing through by early tomorrow morning. Does it stay cool for a little bit? but not for long. We get another warm up as we head into the next work week. Right now, your look outside downtown Temple, nice and quiet. Still got a little over 30 minutes until the sun comes up and it is going to warm us up here nicely. So it is already a very unseasonable start to the morning. 53 degrees right now as you head out the door in Temple. 51, our coolest spot in Central Texas. 56 as you head out in Colleen. 64, that's our warm spot in College Station. 57 degrees right now in Gatesville. So here's a look at your day planner. Plenty of sunshine and we are going to get highs once again, topping out 20 plus degrees above the seasonal norms and we got to get to 84 to break the record or to tie the record for today above 84 to break it and it's a possibility that 1905 record could be falling this afternoon. We'll be on record track as we head into the afternoon. Also, you're going to want to mind of that wind for any of those outdoor plans that you have as we're going to get wind gusts upwards of 25 miles per hour and with the wind as well as the warm temperatures and the humidity on the lower end, it just sets up the perfect recipe for if a fire were to start, it would spread rapidly. So you are going to want to abide by some of these fire safety tips. This is mainly a big concern for areas west of I-35 and again during the afternoon hours. Now here's where the changes start to kick in. We get into your uh, Wednesday night, temperatures stay on the mild side as you head to bed, but it's through the overnight hours hours that we start to see this cold front moving through from west to east and what's behind the front much cooler air and winds are also going to be very gusty. They do shift back to the north, so it is going to be drier air. So the elevated fire threat, not as much of a concern tomorrow, but the bigger story is going to be how low these temperatures drop once this front moves out of here. Upper 40s to the low 50s as you head out the door tomorrow and look at where highs land by the time we roll into the afternoon. Topping out 20 plus degrees below what we'll, where we have seen the last couple of days, only in the upper 50s to low 60s. And because of those breezy winds, it's actually going to feel a couple of degrees below that. Uh, with this frontal system, we're not expecting any showers for today or for the next several days. In fact, this dry weather is definitely going to be of concern as we are still having the drought stricken areas in those areas further west, as I mentioned earlier. So the new drought monitor comes out tomorrow, likely not going to give us much good news.